I know you guys are making sourdough bread out there. I see your pics. I see your vids. It turns out bread is good. What do we gonna do with all that bread though? Okay, so the setup is simple. I've got a lot of bread in my freezer and I'm gonna turn it into tasty things on toast. Right away, I'm going to the three brunch breakfast classics. We've got smoked salmon, avocado, and ricotta. These are all classics and we're gonna make them from scratch and we're gonna try and do them up the best we can. So we're gonna dive right in. We're gonna start with our prep for the ricotta toast. For the jam, you're gonna need 300 grams or three cups of frozen strawberries, 100 grams or a third cup of sugar, two teaspoons of cornstarch or six grams, and the juice of one lemon. Over medium high heat, we're gonna cook the fruit and sugar until the berries release their liquid and start to break down. This takes about five to six minutes of frequently stirring. Right before we finish, we're gonna whisk in our lemon juice and our cornstarch. I find with quick jams like this one, the cornstarch allows me to use less sugar and the jam sets right away, as opposed to pectin, which could take a few hours. Okay, to bust out the ricotta part of our ricotta toast, you'll need a half gallon of nice whole milk, or 2,000 grams, 100 grams of white distilled vinegar, or a half cup, plus 20 grams or three teaspoons of salt. Ricotta is basically the easiest fresh cheese you can make at home. All you have to do is warm the milk to 190 degrees and add in your salt and vinegar. Gently stir and let this acid break the curd. Once it's been sitting for a few minutes, we gently strain this curd through cheesecloth. I'm using a tea towel here as I don't have any cheesecloth under quarantine. But I love this stuff. It's sweet, rich, milky, and the texture is like goat cheese. You can use it on anything. Okay, so that tidies up the prep for a ricotta toast. Okay, so let's talk to the toast part of this real quick. I made some seeded sourdough last week, 25% rye. After about two days, I cut it into thick slabs wrapped it with plastic, pressed them together, and put it in my freezer. So now I just pull those out as needed. The piece you can see here is straight out of the freezer. I'm just cutting in half and throwing it in the toaster. If it's good bread, it'll do most of the work for you. But if all you have access to is something from the grocery store, I recommend stuff like Ezekiel or any other hearty rustic breads that you can find there. White bread can work, but it's kind of weak for an application like this. You want something thick, hearty, rustic. It's gonna be a good vehicle for the things we're putting on it. Let's build this ricotta toast. We're gonna lay down our toast and follow that by four ounces of the fresh ricotta. This ricotta has been draining for about two hours, nice and dry. I'm gonna come back to taste with the strawberry jam. If you wanna make this more sweet and dessert-like, you can add up to four ounces. I'm putting about two and a half to three ounces here. Then we're gonna follow that with some nice syrupy aged balsamic that you might have seen me use in the squash video and some salt and pepper. Now let's take a closer look. Smoked salmon. To get the smoked salmon spread for this toast going, we're gonna take eight ounces of freshly hot smoked salmon. Check out the video up here. We're gonna add in three tablespoons of fresh mayonnaise, two teaspoons of grainy mustard. We're also gonna add in one tablespoon of chopped capers. In a medium mixing bowl, we're gonna combine all of our ingredients and we're gonna kind of smash them and whip them up to the point where this kind of has almost like a chicken salad texture. We want some whipped, smoked salmon that's kind of holding together nice chunky flakes of whole pieces of smoked salmon. I add bread and butter pickle brine as a secret ingredient here to kind of loosen these things up. And if you need a little bit more mayo to make it more spreadable, do it here. I snuck in another half tablespoon when I went to mix. Okay, to build the salmon, we're gonna take our slab of bread. We're gonna add half of our mixture, four ounces of salmon salad. On top of that, we're gonna add six to seven pieces of pickled red onion, capers to taste, and some fresh dill. We're gonna finish that off with some black pepper. You know the drill, slow-mo. <music> avocado toast has its own Wikipedia page. I like avocado toast, but sometimes it can be like guacamole on a shingle. I'm gonna make this one more deluxe. So we're gonna add a poached egg and I'll show you how to make that. It's way easier than you think. And then I'm gonna freak this thing out with some chili oil. To get started, we're gonna cut an avocado. Okay, so that's 0 for 1. I'm gonna grab another avocado. 
Okay, so I can't be that bummed when I'm not going to the store to get my own groceries. We've been doing Instacart and people are picking out some very, very ripe avocados and right now we're at about 30% success rate. So the recipe should say throw out your first two avocados and then cut up your third. To that we're gonna be adding some salt, pepper, chopped chives and lime juice. The idea here is to kind of make an avocado smash up. It's guacamole-esque, but we don't have any garlic or onions or anything like that, no heat. To poach our egg, we're gonna bring one quart of water to a boil. We're gonna add a little bit of salt and a splash of white distilled vinegar. The salt seasons the egg and the vinegar helps the white set faster. We're gonna crack our egg into a one cup container and stir this water to create a little bit of a vortex. Stirring the water helps the egg not sink straight to the bottom. The spinning water helps the egg stay suspended. It takes about 90 seconds to poach an egg if it's right below a boil. It helps to have a slotted spoon to move the egg in and out of the water. And you use your best judgment, you can take a look at it here. It should have a little bit of jiggle to it, but not too much. You don't want something that can't support itself under its own weight. But we want a runny yolk, so we're gonna keep a little bit of jiggle. To build this toast, we're gonna put our well-seasoned smashed avocado. And I wanna reiterate here that this avocado is well-seasoned with lime and salt. We're gonna gently place down our poached egg and top that with a good amount of black pepper and chili flake. And then we're gonna give it a generous topping of hot chili oil. I'll leave the recipe down below. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay, so that's how we use up some of the bread in our freezer. If you're not making sourdough at home, maybe now is the time to start. I'm working on a sourdough video. I just haven't figured out the best way to get it out there yet. So keep an eye out for that. I hope these ideas end up in your kitchen. You start giving them a try. If you have any comments on these recipes or any questions, put them down below. As always, while you're down there, maybe hit that subscribe, tell a friend, and we'll see you next time. That's my squirrel trap.